Am I the asshole? For opting out of my best friend's wedding because they didn't invite my GF. Fake names. My childhood best friend Brad is getting married in late May to Vicky. A week ago, on Easter I received his wedding invite which only listed my name but not my GF, Mary. For context, Brad, Mary and I have known each other since high school. We were in the same friend group. Mary and I live around two hours away from Brad and Vicky. Because Mary is a nurse she doesn't always have the time to visit Brad and Vicky with me so I go alone most of the time but when she's able she'll join me. Mary has met Vicky and seen her around 10 times in the past 4 years that Vicky is with Brad. Mary and I have been together for 6 years total and we do plan on getting engaged and married once we are more financially settled. I confronted her and told her that it's not her place to validate Mary and I's relationship and that it's really low of her to use a dumb rule just to shame and micromanage long-term couples who for whatever reason haven't gotten married yet. I said I'll pass after all and not attend the wedding. She and Brad said I'm disrespecting them and their choices by choosing Mary over their wedding day and I said I don't care. Keep your rules and I'll keep my relationship because it's more important than any exclusive rules that only exist in order to shame people. I've been receiving a lot of backlash from other friends for that choice who said I'm an R for being so bitter about something so small. But to me it's not small. They invalidated Mary and our relationship. Not the asshole they are allowed to have whatever rules they want but you are allowed to decline their invitation. I am not interested spending time and money to celebrate their relationship when they refuse to acknowledge mine. Not the asshole sounds like Vicky is jealous or has something against your GF. That rule doesn't make sense and her additional comments over the phone were unnecessary. Not the asshole, your good guy standing up for your relationship. She then for some reason started being harsh about how Mary and I are not in a serious enough relationship. Well then. You know how your friend Vicky really feels. She and Brad said I'm disrespecting them. No. An invitation is not a summons. Full stop. Not the asshole your reasons for not attending are perfectly valid. Not the asshole. Your girlfriend is a mutual long-time friend of theirs and your friend is marrying a horrible bridezilla. Not the asshole. You're not disrespecting their choices. You're respecting their choice to disrespect your relationship and behaving accordingly. They made their guest list. They can lie in it. Not the asshole. I probably would have RSVP'd no to begin with. You tried. She doubled down on being an asshole when she didn't need to do that. Your best friend Brad is kind of a coward. Not the asshole. You're not disrespecting them you're choosing your girlfriend and showing how serious your commitment is to her by not choosing them. Vicky is on some weird bridezilla power trip. Come celebrate our relationship while we completely disrespect and minimize yours. Not the asshole, obviously. Not the asshole and any opposing views are conveniently forgetting the bride's demeaning and combative attitude about it. It's also strange that the groom has been friends with them for years and excluded her. This sounds like a bridezilla situation. She's saying because you aren't married or engaged you're less than. If they had been dating for a couple months I'd understand. The fact that the groom let this slide is very much a bad sign for the future. This friendship is most likely never going to recover. Not the asshole. Maybe if Vicky takes the broom out of her behind she can start cleaning up the mess her rules made. Not the asshole. Does she realize divorce exists? Petty me would say it's fine he'll attend his next wedding, woman shrugging. Not the asshole. Yikes. Someone is full of themselves aren't they? Having rules doesn't make them ours but Vicky went past that. She intentionally attacked your relationship and was far more disrespectful than you simply refusing their wedding invite. Not the asshole rings are archaic symbols. No adult relationship needs any outside approval. Not to be mean, but I bet these two will divorce. She's not even considering her future husband's wishes. 
I wouldn't attend either. She then for some reason started being harsh about how Mary and I are not in a serious enough relationship if after knowing each other for so long and being together for six years we are not engaged yet and joke that after all you never know what tomorrow brings. X200B. Yeah because marriage is for life. She could be divorcing next year, marriage doesn't make it permanent. She will never know what tomorrow brings to her, even married. Not the asshole. Vicky and Brad, super hardcore assholes. She could have just accepted you RSVP and that be it, but no. She chose violence and ended up getting shanked with her own smarmy attitude. I'm not wishing ill on the engaged couple, but I'm sending you and Mary good wishes for a lifetime of happiness, rock on gesture, oh. and joke that after all you never know what tomorrow brings and I could break up with Mary any time since we haven't shown any signs of true commitment. X200B. She and Brad said I'm disrespecting them and their choices by choosing Mary over their wedding day. I guess that's what one could call a sign of true commitment? Surprised Pikachu face. You are absolutely not the asshole for choosing your so over their stupid wedding rules. Not the asshole. You and Mary were ready to put aside your feelings for the sake of peace, and then they escalated the disrespect in response. Sorry that your old friends are being a holes. Not the asshole. Miss Manners herself says that couples who live together should be presumed to be secretly engaged and invited as a couple. It cracked me up because what an old-fashioned and stuffy way to justify doing the correct modern thing. Not the asshole. You have your priorities straight. And Brad and Mary can invite or not invite anyone they want, but the invitees don't have to accept. That's a rule too. Not the asshole good for you sticking by your GF. I bet their marriage won't last four years. Not the asshole. Everyone should call out judgmental assholes like Vicky. Not the asshole. Vicky's comments solidified that one. She is welcome to her rules and you can choose whether or not to abide by them but to use these rules as a method to shame others and interject her opinions when not called for is our behavior. Had she kept her mouth shut and her mind free of judgment I'm sure the outcome would be different. Not the asshole. Even though it's Vicky's wedding and she can make whatever rules, that is pretty crappy that she isn't listening to Brad her soon to be because Brad seems okay with Mary being there and understands and Mary is being nice and telling you to just go. I think you did the right thing and Vicky has some issues, I wouldn't have attended either somebody dissing on my partner and our relationship. Not the asshole for deciding Vicky was going too far by insulting your relationship. I'm sorry you have to miss out on Brad's wedding because he's sticking to her rude rules. I do get not inviting any old random plus ones but with a pair of long-term friends who happen to also be in a long-term relationship with each other, it is ridiculous not to invite both of them. Or at least to double down when you're trying to be understanding. Natar was going to go NH until Vicky went in on your relationship. That's not her place. They can have their rules for the guest list if they want, but they also have to recognize that people don't have to attend if they don't like the rule.